Most of these people do not have insurance. They can't afford it. A lot of these people are older. Look at that. Isn't that sad? Homes, businesses, and farmland across five counties in the southern Mississippi Delta have been submerged for months. And this is just one example of flooding across the south and the Midwest after multiple extreme weather events this past winter and spring. We visited farmers in rural Mississippi where the flooding there is so bad, they won't be planting anything this year. Randy and Victoria Darden glide across the water six feet above what should be a healthy field of soybean crops. As winter turned to spring this year, they watched water seep into the fields and turn their family farm in Vicksburg, Mississippi into a lake. Months later, the flood has not receded. In fact, the Dardens say, after recent storms, the waters actually rose. I won't have any income coming in this year. All I've got is expenses going out. Normally, I, I, I grow somewhere around $600,000. Randy has lived on the LNR farms for half a century. This is the first time he won't plant anything at all. Instead of a tractor, father and daughter travel their farm by boat and four-wheeler, and they worry about what the flood will leave behind. Normally, I would be out here in anywhere from hip high to higher soybeans and just to walk out here and see all these weeds growing, it, it's really frustrating and it, it just makes me mad. We'll be picking up this trash that has floated up from who knows where for just probably the rest of the year. Much of the Mississippi Delta has been flooded since February. At its peak, the water spread across 550,000 acres, inundating homes, businesses, and farmland across five counties, an area almost three times the size of New York City. This is not normal. This has been getting deeper and deeper and deeper every month that went by, and it's not over with yet. And this year, flood is plaguing agriculture far beyond the Delta. Since late winter, unusually heavy rain, storms, and tornadoes have flooded land across the Midwest and the South, forcing farmers to delay planting crops like soybean and corn in a year that many were already hurting because of the trade war with China. So far, President Trump has declared major flood-related disasters in 11 states in the Midwest and the South, providing financial relief to those affected. This year's flood along the Mississippi River is the longest-lasting ever.